The happy times I've had so far, the people I have met will always be a part of life I'll never quite forget. Good morning, students. Good morning, Good morning special guest. This is a wonderful day. On behalf of the professional learning community at William Paker Elementary School, I extend a hearty welcome to each and every one of you. This is one of the best events that has happened in the 10 years I've been here as principal. Yes, I've been here 10 years. I've seen some good days and I've seen some bad days. But this is one of the best things that could have ever happened. I would like to take this opportunity to thank some very important people who have been instrumental in helping to make this event a success. First, I would like to thank our county councilwoman. Would you please raise your I want my students to see you. So would you please stand? Students, this is, this is the person who represents us on the council, Ms. Andrea Harrison. She's been with me on many occasions, not just today. And Andrea, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would like to also, students, because this is an educational arena and this is a learning experience, I would like for you also to know who our county executive, uh, Mr. Rashawn Baker III, would you please stand? Thank you for making William Baker a part of the Transforming Neighborhood Initiative. Certainly Landover was due to be recognized, and we thank you from the parents and all of the community stakeholders, we thank you. Now we have another person that we would like to thank, and he is the newly appointed CEO, Dr. Maxwell, would you please stand? He is a person who stands at the hub of all of the schools in Prince George's County. Thank you, Dr. Maxwell. I met Dr. Maxwell this summer, and he assured me that he would be coming to William Paker. Didn't say when, didn't say how. But we are so happy that he's with us this morning. And now I would like to thank the chairperson of the Learn Foundation, Miss Dorothy Bailey. Miss Bailey, would you stand? All of these people are very instrumental in helping us to make this day a reality. I would like to thank you. And then the next people I would like to uh, recognize, they are the co-founder and president of the Heart of America Foundation. That is Mr. Bill and Angela Halamandrias. Would you please stand? Please, let's give them a great rousing round of applause. I've met with Angela on several occasions in this, uh, in this uh, building and she was so passionate about helping us to uh, uh, give our students the opportunity to be able to reach books. Because when she walked in here, the bookshelves were over there. And you see how tall they are. That, I mean, a pre-K, kindergarten, second grader, they can't uh, select a book from that length. But she assured us that she would come in with her crew and they were going to bless us with a new media center. Thank you so much. And then I met Bill this morning walking in and he said, uh, introduced himself and I was so happy to meet him because he shared your passion. A great man by the name of Dr. James Comer said, there's nothing more important in schools than relationships between and among students, staff, and parents. I'm going to add another line to that. There's nothing more important to schools than students, relationships between students, staff, parents, and business partners. So we are so happy to have business partners who look into 
uh, schools and see that there are needs and open their wallets and, and then give us their time so that we're able to help our students to, so that they are able to move forward. This school was built in 1962 and certainly at that time it accommodated what the needs were. But as time has moved on, we want to make sure that we are on the cutting edge of education reform. And in order to do that, there has to be transitions and transformations. So again, from the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful. And I speak not only for the staff in this building, but also for the parents and stakeholders. Thank you so much for coming to be with us. And then there's another person I would like to introduce, and that's the board vice president who, re who represents the William Paker School, Ms. Carolyn Boston. Ms. Boston, would you stand? <laughs> now, all of the other persons will be introduced by Carla. Carla, please. Carla has been at William Paker. She's done a lot for the school. She, we've, 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 we've partnered together, and Mr. Baker, thank you so much for sending Carla. Yes. She has certainly been a blessing. Thank you, Ms. Clowers. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Clowers. Made me feel so good. Now, I remember when I was in elementary school, one of the things that we used to do was we used to sing a song, Good Morning to You, Good Morning to You. We're all in our places with sunshiny faces, Good Morning to You. I guess I messed it up, huh? Y'all had another line in there. So anyway, good morning, everyone. This is a great day in Prince George's County. Why? because we're celebrating the great work of the Transforming Neighborhood Initiative. It is the signature program of our county executive, Mr. Sherm L. Baker III. And it focuses on some areas that really are designed to uplift the, the people in the community and the, the communities. And uh, there are four areas that T and I, the Transforming Neighborhood Initiative, focuses on. One is public safety. You can't have a good community if you're scared and you're not safe, right? The second thing that uh, the Transforming Neighborhood Initiative focuses on is on um, economic development. And then the third thing is health care. Because if you're not well, if you're not, you're, not, uh, you're not fed well, you can't think and you can't be a productive citizen. And the last, but probably the most important thing that the Transforming Neighborhood Initiative focuses on is education. I should have probably given that to you on, on the quiz. But, <laughs> so, so we're here today to celebrate something special in education. We are transforming this library we are transforming Computer Lab, and it's going to be very special for you children. It's going to be very special for your parents um, when we get done. It will be something that you will be proud of and you will never forget for as long as you live. You'll remember how beautiful the place will now become. Um, so today is about excitement. Today is about... Um, Productivity. Today is about sustainability. What is that? Well, sustainability, I, the way I remember what sustainability is, is there's a famous philosopher who I love to quote. His name, he's, he's a modern day philosopher, but children, you may not have heard of him. His name is Keith Sweat. And, um, <laughs> and, he, and, and one of his songs was, make it last, make it last forever. So that's what we're going to do. So without further ado, and I'll introduce some more people as I come up, but I do want to introduce you uh, to, again, to our council chair, Andrea Harrison. She uh, serves this community, and we'd like her to bring us greetings. <laughs> chair. So I just whispered to the county executive, we're going to have to ha pull Carla to the side because every time she speaks, she quotes a song. And it's usually a love song. We might have to have a little talk. <laughs> now, in all seriousness, first of all, good morning. Good morning, children. 
<laughs> Good morning to all of the others. <laughs> I'm so happy to <laughs> I'm so happy to uh, be a part of this community. I'm happy to live in this community. I'm happy to represent this community. And then most importantly, I'm happy to be a part of this particular school community and all of the wonderful things that are happening here. You know, we've been talking about um, what our children need and we've been talking about doing a number of things for our children, but our children have to have an opportunity. And today with the heart of America, bringing their heart here, our children will have a better opportunity to grow, to prosper, to be successful, to come back and serve their communities just because they have some small tangible things that they can touch. And so um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, talking because I'm really excited and can't wait to see what's behind these um, <laughs> Uh, what's on these pictures behind this paper here, but um, I just want to say thank you to the county executive for the TNI initiative, the Transforming Neighborhoods Initiative, and for considering Landover. It's been um, a forgotten community. You know, we've done a whole lot of expansion all through Prince George's County. We've grown by leaps and bounds, but oftentimes our established communities, those that have been here forever, have been forgotten. And today we're showing our children that they're not forgotten. And so I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate Carla because she's always so excited about what's going on over here. And just all of the wonderful things, not just in William Packer, but in this community in Prince George's County as a whole. So um, I bring greetings on behalf of the Prince George's County Council. And I say good morning and I say thank you. So the county executive is real big on collaboration and teamwork. And so there's no way that I could do what I do in this community without a su superb team of people representing all the agencies in our county government. And I would like th for um, the team members of the Kentland Palmer Park Landover T&I team to stand up so we can see who they are. And uh, before I bring up an extremely important person, I want to recognize also my colleague who's standing in the back of the room, Betty Hager Francis. She, she is the person who makes sure that education is taken care of. She's a great liaison with the school system and has come up with some very uh, elaborate, innovative initiatives to, to help us, bring us along in uh, education. And, and Betty, I want to thank you for your leadership and thank you for being here today. Okay, so <laughs> without further ado, I want to bring up our illustrious County Executive, Rashern L. Baker the third. Hey, come on up here, Mr. County Executive. Oh. You know, Madam Chair, I think you're right. We're gonna have to talk about Carla. <laughs> before I uh, before I begin, can uh, can we please give your great principal another round of could you please send him a shower? Another round of applause. And I have to say, on behalf of my wife, we love the red. <laughs> what can I say? Carla Reed, um, this is an exciting, it, you know, Carla, you know, if you, can you get up for this event? Really, can you be excited about this event? Just a little bit. I, I, as Carla was talking, I, I, was th I was remembering back to when we started college together. And, you know, Carla was a cheerleader. So she, <laughs> so she is in cheerleader mode, and uh, we're very, very pleased. If if your team could stand up, if all the members of Carla's team and I, could you stand up once again? Let's give you another round of applause. And to the important uh, individuals that are here, and that is our young people over here. How are you guys doing? Are you excited? Do you know what's going on? 
<laughs> well, it's all about you. We're going to have a very, very special announcement in a few minutes. Uh, I know you can't wait, right? Oh, you guys, who are the crossing guards? You're crossing guards, right? Or patrol? Safety patrol. Safety patrol. Wow, that means you're like leaders. So you're the leaders in the school. This is the leadership of the school. Can we give them a round of applause? Let, let, me, uh, let me just say this. I'm going to be quick um, because Carla actually talked about a lot of the things that I was going to say in my prepared remarks. So I want to, in, in, in fairness to, uh, to the folks who prepared it, Carla stole all the lines. <laughs> but she really did. She talked about T&I and the Transforming Neighborhoods, and the chair talked about it. Uh, one of the things, and I want to thank the chair, you know, she, she uh, thanked me for doing this for the county and bringing T&I together. But it really is a partnership. In order for us to do the things that the transforming neighborhood is going to do across this county, we needed the council to buy into it. Because in order to make it really function like it's going to function today, we need the county and the council to see the county as a whole. And not just their little territories. But I couldn't convince them to do that. As a county executive, I represent the county as a whole. But as individual council members, they have their individual districts. So the passion and concern of the county and the forgotten parts has to come from the leadership on the second floor. That would not have happened if we didn't have a chair that grew up here, that loves the people here, that understands the problems here, and is willing to reach beyond her district. We couldn't get it done without you. Can we give our chair a round of applause? So today is a special day. I want to thank all of our partners uh, for being here. I want to thank you for reaching into Prince George's County and to um, being a part of us and making this happen. I'm so excited. Uh, with that, I'm going to get out of the way so we can get to the real uh, entertainment and the real reason we're here. Uh, so I will turn it back over to Carla Reed. Thank you very much. The next person that we are going to hear from today is our esteemed CEO of the school system, Dr. Kevin Maxwell. So, so I think I won't do my uh, prepared remarks either. I'm, I'm sorry uh, to your office, Max, but um, but everybody's, uh, you know, done, done a lot of that already. But I, I do want to thank uh, everybody who's come together today. Um, I did promise you at one of the meet and greets that I would be here, and I'll be back because, you know, I, I still want to see the classrooms and the teaching and, and the rest of the, of the students. Uh, so I'll be back. You can take that to the bank, too. Um, although I have done 74 uh, school visits already. I, I was at another school already before, before this one this morning. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. It's only 204, so <laughs> cross them off. The, um, I want to thank the county executive and the county council chair for, um, you know, the, the T&I work, for your support of, of the county as a whole, for your support of the school district and, and me. Um, the, the LEARN Foundation, um, Ms. Bailey and I have known each other a pretty long time. Uh, we, we both had former experiences uh, and relationships together, and, and uh, it's great to, to be here with you this morning as well. I also had the opportunity to uh, um, work with the Heart of America Foundation uh, once before in my career, and, and uh, I'm thrilled uh, that they are here with the LEARN Foundation uh, doing this. Uh, my partners on the Board of Education, this is not a, a one-man show. I say that everywhere that I go. This is not a one-person thing. We can't do this by ourselves. Uh, uh, Ms. Boston is, is just wonderful. Uh, she helps keep me in the right place at the right time, and, and, uh, and I say that because we, we have some conversations at our meetings, like all groups do, and, and uh, she's, she's wonderful, and I'm just thankful that she's here this morning. Um, the T the T and I team, everybody that's been recognized. Uh, again, I don't want to repeat all the names, but I do want to. Um, um, you know, Carla said she remembered when she was in elementary school, and you know I do too. <laughs> Not as well as <laughs> as Carla. I'm a little older, but uh, 
But I remember uh, elementary school too, and and um, you know, to to the students that are here today, I, I want to tell you that I went to school. I went to elementary school at Kentland Elementary School uh, in Landover. I grew up in in Kentland, and I went to uh, uh, junior high in those days at Kent Junior High School in Palmer Park. And, and so I know this community, and not just this community. I mean, I know this county. And I would say to you that the people that are here today are here for you. They're not here because of me. They're here because of you. These are people coming together to help you with your education, as your principal and your teachers do each and every day. When this work is done, if you don't use it for its intended purposes, if you don't use it for your education, then having it won't be very important. It's important because of you. That's what makes it important, is you and your work and your education. There are a lot of people before you that grew up in, in this community, in these communities nearby. And, you know, they have worked hard and they have, you know, left school and gone out and, and uh, gotten jobs and become, you know, paying citizens, uh, tax paying citizens, earners, workers. They run our schools, the school I was at this morning. Sure enough, I ran into two people at the last school I was in who were students of mine in different roles that I had in this district. Uh, and here they are working in our school district, having come through this same school system, and that can be you too as police and firefighters, as county executives and county, county council people and school board members, as, as principals and teachers, as CEOs and superintendents, uh, as governors, right. right? That's for you. And that's what this partnership is for, is for you. So I hope that, you know, when we've all, you know, sat down, finished this and, and gone, gone our way today, that when we come back for the ribbon cutting, that you'll understand and that you'll talk to the other students who aren't in this room today and let them know that this room full of people and, and hundreds and thousands more outside of this room care about you and we do this for you. So congratulations on the Media Center and upgrades that you're getting today and I know somebody else is gonna tell you all about that. <laughs> Ms. Dorothy Bailey. This, <laughs> she has some money for us. She, and look. We, we didn't even have to go looking for it. She came and approached us, her and her Learn Foundation committee, approached us and said, we serve this impact area. Tell us something that you want to do in the community. Give us some choices. Just don't give us one thing. Give us some choices. And, um, and make sure that the choices follow the theme of that song that I told you earlier. Make it last, something that's going to make it last in the community. So we, we gave them some options and they picked this project. So without the T and I initiative is one of the best things that have come to this county in a very long time. And we are so excited about it. Thank you. Thank you so very much. But let me just tell you, because I love history, a little bit about the Learn Foundation. It did not just happen. It was during the time that I was on the county council and Wayne Curry was the county executive. And he came to me to talk about the football team coming to this community. At that time, I represented this community. I represented where the football stadium is. And I looked at Mr. Kerr and I said, I don't even like football. Why would I support that? And he said, let me tell you, Dorothy, this is not about football, but it is about our community and what we can get out of it. And one of the things I will promise you that we will get out of it is something for our children. And he knew that that was a hook for me as a former classroom teacher. And that we did. We did get something out of it. We probably have, and Glenda tells me, Dorothy, stop telling people we have money. We probably have more money than any other foundation nonprofit in the county. And we are willing, and I hear you, Glenda, and eager to spend it. We give scholarships, and we are looking for students to give scholarship money to, so you all keep doing what you're doing, because we want to give you scholarships. We want to provide, to provide grants. And so that's what we do, and we are elated to be here today. Someone asked me recently, well, Dorothy, why is it that this is so important to you? 
Every person on the LEARN Foundation, every single person, loves this county, passionate about this county. But let me share what my view is. There was a Sutherland High School about 25 years ago, a young man walking down the hall. And a young man, a new teacher, a young teacher, stopped him and said, you ever thought about running track? And the young man looked a little sad because he had parents who were a little bit crazy at that time. And the young man said, no, there are football players in my family. And the young teacher said, I think you've got legs for track. And the young man said, I don't think so. The teacher said, come out, let's see. And the young man came out. He was in his very first track meet, fell in the blocks, never got on the track. He was humiliated. That young teacher said, no, come on, come on back. You can do it. That young teacher worked with that young man to the point that y that young man became the number one high school hurdler in the country. This happened at Suitland High School. That young man went on to Fairleigh Dickinson University in New Jersey and graduated second in his class. He was not only prepared academically, athletically, but he was prepared academically. That young man was Bart Bailey, my son. So every single time, every single time, I have the opportunity to visit a school, to engage this community in the education of our children, I will do it because I feel like the rest of the board members, every single child needs to have the love, the attention, and the education, and the background and support of a community that Bart Bailey received in this community. And he's doing well. He's out of my house with his own children. <laughs> but every single child deserves that. And so that is what the Learn Foundation is about. And we're delighted and happy to be with you today and to be sharing in this excitement. Thank you. And I never told, did I tell you her name? I think her name. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Dorothy Bailey and the Learn Foundation Committee. So, we're up to our last speaker. Anybody want to say yay for that? Yay! yay! This is exciting. Okay. But you know what? We talked about the money that the Learn Foundation um, has provided and given to this project. But they have really given more than that because the members of the committee have relationships and partnerships with people like Angie and her husband from the heart of America. Um, if it was not for the relationships, we would not have really I don't think known anything about the Heart of America. Uh, we certainly have heard about their work, but we didn't really know the people who could help us with this project. So Learn Foundation, not only did you supply the money, but we also thank you for the connections that you help us to make. So without further ado, we have our last and final speaker. Now get alert for her now. She's coming up. She's going to tell you about this project. Angie, and I'm going to let you say your last name because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alamandaris, it's a long one. Um, Bill, thank you so much, Carla. Can we take her on the road with us? I mean, just that bottled enthusiasm is amazing. Carla, thank you. Calvin Hawkins, I want to thank you too. County Executive, Council Chair, Dr. Maxwell, Dorothy Bailey, and really all of you for being here. This is such an amazing celebration. It, it really is. And we have so many leaders here. And um, oftentimes I talk to children um, when we're doing library unveilings, and I talk about VIPs. We've got a lot of VIPs here. Um, can one of you tell me what VIP stands for? Oh, yes, you. Very important person, very important people. But I can tell you that the very important people in this room, as Dr. Maxwell said, are each and every one of you. And that is why every single person in this room is here today is for you. We know that with these resources and with these amazing people believing in you, we know you can do anything. You can be sitting in this front row one day, running the county and running the school district and doing anything that you want to do. So, boys and girls, we want to give you a big round of applause. 
And Principal Flowers, oh gosh, we, we just love you. I have to tell you, we're in schools all across the country, uh, really about every week. And when you walk into a school, you can feel the spirit in the school. You can see it in the boys and girls' faces. You know when a principal walks down the hall and they're getting hugs and high fives and they're standing like this, you know, you know that there's a lot of magic happening in the school. So thank you so much for everything you're doing for these students. Uh, thank you for working with us. I know we're going to create some magic here um, in this library space as well. Um, you know, the heart of America, we've been working um, in Prince George's County for 15 years, working in the schools, providing books. We've been making over libraries all over the, the country and in this um, county as well. And I can tell you what's happening in this library space and the computer labs, this is a model. This is a model, not only for this community and for the country. I was trying to think of a really kind of hip love song to quote from <laughs> Carla, but I, I couldn't quite pull it out. Um, one, of, one of our heroes, Bill, Bill and I, one of our heroes is uh, Albert Schweitzer. He was a famous physician and, and really a philosopher as well. And he said, example isn't the best way to teach. It's the only way to teach. And I have to tell you, the example of this community coming together to invest in this school, invest in this community, is an example for, I think, other counties and cities really across this country to see. And I'm excited to share this story with others because if we can create models like this across the country, we're going to have so much for our children and for their future. So I want to thank all of you for being here, for everything that you're doing. The TNI initiative, I think, is really transforming not only communities and neighborhoods, but it's transforming lives. So, so thank you so much for that. And I, I do want to recognize two other partners, uh, longtime partners of Heart of America that have worked with us for a while. We have our friends from Capital One that are here, and they're a part of this project. Give them a round of applause. And also uh, another long-term partner, uh, LF Jennings Construction as well. I want to give them a round of applause also. So is everybody ready to take kind of a sneak peek at what's going to happen here? Yeah, boys and girls, you wanted a little sneak peek? Yeah, I want to bring up two very special people. These are um, our director of our redesign program, Donnie Kenneth, and Katrina Carter, our project manager. And they're going to unveil just a little quick sneak peek of what's happening here. And this is just part of the library space that you're going to see, but there are going to be two computer labs, thanks to the Learn Foundation. We've got technology coming here, computers. We've got all kinds of things that are going to happen in this space. And this space is going to come alive for these children. Are you going to read all the thousands of books that are going to come into this space? Yes. Yes, yes. I saw the county executive raise his hand, too, so he'll be in here reading as well. Uh, guys, uh, so smiles again. One, two, and three. That's awesome. You guys are so patient. We're going to this young man again, please. All right, guys. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. Break the library down. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>